Hi all, Karthik here from Design School BWP Algorithm. In this video, I'm going to explain the differences between pixels, rems, and ems. And in the previous video, we discussed Elementor 3 global fonts, and I made a mistake there. It's a small mistake. I said that rem is basically the font size of your body text, but it's not. I'll show you what rems are, what ems are with practical example. And you have to enable global styles on your Elementor interface and click on Elementor. And in order to make your global styles work, you have to disable both default colors and default fonts by checking these boxes and clicking on save changes. Only then your default colors or the global colors and the global fonts in Elementor 3 will work. So make sure you check this. And we've discussed global fonts. You can check out Elementor Basics playlist for that right so you can click on site settings and you can set fonts or colors and whenever you drag a new widget all the properties are automatically applied now i said that rem is basically a value relative to the font size of body text but it's not rem is totally different what really happens is that we've set a font size for our body text on desktop it's 20 on tablet it's 18 pixels and on mobile we have set it to 16 pixels so that all the sizes are applied accordingly and we've multiplied them with few numbers right now i'll switch to desktop and this is the ratio that we multiplied and we actually multiplied it with rem so it's actually getting the value of font size of the root element which is an html element let's see what that html element is so if i click on preview changes it opens up a brand new page right so i'll just right click on this and click on inspect right let's see where this particular element is getting its font from so I'll go to computed since we are just specifying it in rems or ems the value will be computed so font size if you go to computed and type font you can find the font size property and click this arrow and it shows you where it's getting its font size from right so it's showing 3.052 rem like I said rem is the root element and it's basically multiplying the value of the root font size with this value and typically the value that we specified was 20 pixels so if it was rem 20 times 3 dot something should be 60 pixels right we said 3 dot something but it's not it's not 60 pixels right this is h2 and you can see this here h1 we are not using it anyway so h2 the one in the red color is actually not 60 pixels but it's rather around 40 pixels right 45 pixels so 3 times or 3 dot something times 20 pixels is not 45 pixels that means it's getting the font size from somewhere else so what exactly is root element click on inspect click out and scroll to the absolute top and at the top you find an element called html html itself is an html element right so there's body there's section there's divs and all that but you can see that all this is basically html and html is the root element within which all of your website rests so if you click on html and again go to computed and the font size you can see that it's actually getting the font size from Astra, right? So it's actually 15 pixels. So it's getting this font size from your theme. So if you change your theme, this font size of HTML element is changed. And basically the value that we specified was three dot something rems. So it's multiplying this 15 pixels with three dot something. And that's how the H2 value is calculated as 45. So it's for it's three dot something times 15 pixels but not 20 pixels that we really want so if we really want the value to be multiplied or the h2 value to be multiplied with the size 
of body text we should be using m's it's that simple so i'll just click on h2 i'll copy the ratio i'll cut it i'll go to m i'll paste the value and just like that the size is now adjusted to 60 pixels now the value is multiplied with the base font size and that's what we want in a font scale right the same thing we have to do for each and every heading so we have to remove it from rem if you want to if you want your whole font scale to be relative to your body text that you specify here you have to do the same you have to cut it from rem rem is essentially root element so whatever your theme is it's getting that value and multiplying it but we want the value to be a number multiplied with this with 20 pixels so just copy the number from for m's and put it into m's so m is basically relative to your body text and m rem is basically related to your root element which is your html element and html element you can also change the size of your root element that's a different thing right and h6 i'll just change this from m's to rems to m's so it's now 1.25 times 20 which is the size of this body text so m is basically a factor or multiplication of whatever the body text is now root element gets its size from your current theme right i can go back i can scroll down if you have elementor pro you can click on custom css and you can simply change the font size of your html element by typing the small code so you just need to type html open your flower brace and close it and now you can say font size and let's say you change it to 10 pixels now nothing changes because we've set all the values relative to all the values relative to m's which is getting its size from body text so if i change it to 30 pixels nothing changes because we are not using the root element as a measurement we are not using the rem let's go to typography now h2 instead of m's i'll copy this value into rem and you can see it's three times whatever is the value since we provided a css property using custom css it's three times this value which is almost 90 pixels so if i update this and load my preview right click and click on inspect it will be 90 pixels it will be around 90 pixels just like that 91 pixels right three dot something times 30 pixels which is rem so rem is your root element or html element you can change it using custom css you can put this custom css in the customizer area of your theme if you are willing to use rem as your unit and if you're willing to define your scale using your rem but if you want to define your scale using elementor itself it's better to use m so you just define body text in value so just specify pixels you can also use m's and rems again if you use rem here the value will be derived from your theme or your custom css and m it will be from your browser or again from elementor custom css or your theme custom css if you specify absolute pixels so this will be the value base value with which all the m values are multiplied so when i say 3.05 to rem it's multiplied to root element but when i say 2.44 m it's 2.44 times this body type text or the font size which is 20 pixels hopefully i made it clear so you can override your m's and rems usually if you want your font scale to be more flexible you'll be using m's because m's can always be changed right you can simply change it from here and all the values are affected also if you want to use it relative to your rem well again rem can also be defined using this html snippet the css snippet or if you use a different theme if you want to derive the base font size from your theme or your or from user preference 
you can use rem as well so it's all relative hopefully i made it clear so this is the difference between pixels rems and ems and it's really easily understandable when you're working with elementor so whichever value is getting multiplied is the value that you see in here all of these are computed values and that makes all of these text bits really responsive and adjust them accordingly to the device right just define a body text size in pixels and then use ems as units so that way you get flexibility relative to your body text you can also override this at section level and column level so if you put a different value for font size at section level m will basically be relative to that value but don't be confused so this is it m will look for the parent element it will derive its font size from its parent element since all these are inheriting from your theme style if you define m value here it will be getting all the values from your theme styles which is basically your global fonts but rem again it gets either from your theme or if you override it manually it gets the value from here right so that's pretty much it hopefully i made it clear if you didn't understand anything or if you want to know more let me know in the comments down below i'll catch you in the next one peace